Happy final day of Hanukkah. Today is the last day of Hanukkah, known as Zot Hanukkah. This is the ultimate day of Hanukkah, because last night we kindled all eight flames of the menorah. And until nightfall today, we're still celebrating Hanukkah. But the question is asked, on the first night of Hanukkah, we recited three blessings before we lit the menorah. The first blessing was thanking God for the commandment of lighting the menorah. The second commandment was thanking God for the miracles that he performed for our ancestors during this holiday. And then we recited the third blessing, Shechiyano v'kimano v'giyano l'zmanazeh, thanking God that we merited to live to celebrate this holiday of Hanukkah. But then on all the subsequent nights, we didn't say the Shechiyano anymore. And the question is, shouldn't it, wouldn't it have been more appropriate to recite the Shechiyano last night? Because last night was when we completed the entire mitzvah of lighting the menorah for all eight days of Hanukkah. Why did we light it up, say the blessing Shechiyano on the first night and not last night on the last night when we finished the mitzvah and completed it and had all eight candles burning brightly? And a beautiful answer given is that it teaches a very important lesson. It says in Pirkei Avot, in Ethics of Our Fathers, one mitzvah leads to another. And therefore it teaches us that the minute we light that first candle, no matter how small it is, on the first night we only have one candle burning, but we could already recite the Shechiano on the entire mitzvah of eight days of Hanukkah. Because once you light one candle, surely that will lead to a second candle and a third candle until the entire menorah will be lit up. And the message in all of our personal lives is that as we leave this holiday of Hanukkah, we have to remember, as we leave this holiday of Hanukkah, we have to remember that every day we have the opportunity to kindle a flame, a little flame of light, of goodness, of kindness, of doing a mitzvah. And no matter how small it is, we should never feel that what does this little light mean? What does it accomplish? There's so much darkness in the world. How will this little light extinguish or banish the darkness in the world? And the answer is, you never know how far one little light can go. If you just start with one light, you could say Shechianu, because this light will grow and grow and grow, and will create so much more light than you could ever even imagine. But the most important thing is to kindle that first flame, to start the process. You know, there was a police detective, forensic detective, who worked for the San Francisco Police Department. And tragically, many people would jump off the Golden Gate Bridge and take their lives. And he would have to go to the forensics and investigate the case. And he said he's done this for years and it's a very gruesome type of a job. But he said that he had one experience that shook him to his core. And that was after a certain individual jumped off the Golden Gate Bridge. He went to the home of this person to investigate, to make sure that it was really a suicide that he wasn't, God forbid, pushed or uh, murdered. And he said he went into his apartment and there he saw a suicide note sitting on the table, which wasn't uncommon for people to leave such notes. But he said when he read the note, the note said the following, I am now going to leave my apartment and I'm going to walk to the Golden Gate Bridge to jump to my death. But if one person along the way stops and smiles at me, and greets me warmly, I will turn back and go home. Tragically, this person was suffering with loneliness, with isolation. And all he was looking for was a little light in his life, a little warmth. We never know what a little light can do. And so while we don't light the menorah tonight, we all have the candle of God within ourselves, our inner light. And our job is to light a candle every day and more and more candles and even a simple gesture like smiling at somebody is radiating your light outward towards others. And like the little candle of the menorah, once you light a candle, you can never know what it can accomplish in this world. And so as we conclude the holiday of Hanukkah, let us remember to continue to light candles each and every day. And as the Talmud says, ner le'echad, ner le'mea, a candle for one is a candle for a hundred. When you light a flame, you cannot contain it just for yourself. The light spreads out and benefits everyone in your environment, in your surroundings. Let us commit ourselves to creating and spreading more light in the world. Have a wonderful last day of Hanukkah.